Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and welcome back to the HTML tutorials. Okay, so in the last episode, I covered how to make the navigation uh, links up here. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering a sidebar. So make sure you um, put this in between the content area. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to, right where it's at, wherever the navigation area ends, I'm going to add another space. So it's just going to have a space between the navigation section, which is right here, and between what we're going to add now. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making a sidebar. So how we're going to do that is we're going to do div id equals left, and that's going to we're going to basically it's going to be pushing the content to the left. But we're going to do that through CSS. Let's go ahead and end off that div. Then also create another div right underneath that. Two spaces down like I did before. Div id equals right, and then end off the div. Save that, and now we're going to go over here and stylize what we just made. First thing we're going to do is type a number sign left. Then we're going to do float left. Now, number sign right is also going to be floated to the left, unless you want the sidebar to be on the right. That's up to you. For, uh, that's up to you to decide. But for now, we are going to make the sidebar on the left and the content on the right. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to do width. Let's make it about 200 pixels. We're not going to worry about any um, padding because we're all, we already have a padding. It's already five pixels padded, so we're pretty good on that. Now we are going to simply end off that. That's literally all it takes. Now, however, in the content, we need to do overflow hidden, just like we did with the nav. So now, do nav or not nav? Do right, and then we are going to do float left you can do float right if you wanted to but this one is going to have a width of 800 pixels okay so we're gonna save that and now if you refresh it it's not gonna do anything but if you add some content over here and the content over here you'll see that we have a left bar and then this is where the content will go but it can be really really wide for example I'm just gonna add a bunch of content and refresh this Press it and as you can see it goes over here. Now this, however, as you can see it's, it has a set width. But we don't want it to look, well, that's kind of weird looking, right? So for the 800 pixel one we are going to give it a padding of about 12 pixels, but only on the right. So if I remember right, it's 0px, 12px, oops. I think that pushes it to the right. No, that pushes it down. No, that does push it right. But it's already too wide, so what we need to do is make it about 760 pixels. There we go. And if you don't like, if you don't want to do the padding and you want to just have it a little bit more spaced out, you can actually just float it to the right if you wanted to. See, and then it'll just get pushed all the way, all the way over to the right, and that's how it would look. So let's go ahead and stick with that. All right, so now we are going to do. We're just gonna add some stuff here, so. I'm going to add I'm going to add a little a header. So we're going to do h1 and then info and then second h1. We are going to do stuff here. Yay, lots of text. Now just where you can place your text. Now, we're going to stylize where it says info. We're going to make it look really nice. So what was it? What was our ID? We have div id equals or no, no, there was no div. Okay. So we're going to stylize the H1 only for the left. So how we're going to do that is, number sign left, what, left, H1, and then we're going to do background, black, text, align, center, oops, color, white. Save. And then there you go. So now we have a pretty stylized little thing. So it gives you the info there. You can also do padding, 0px if you wanted to, and then margin, 0px if you want to do that, and then it would just kind of push it to the top, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it default. So there we go. Now I'm just going to change this to give a little bit of info. This is an example of a sidebar content. Now, if you wanted to, you could put those in a DIV container and give each of the sidebar containers um, a little square if you wanted to do that. You could technically do that. Now, for the H, for the right H1, 
we are going to give it a background of 333, three, three, just slightly brighter. Text, align, center, color, white, just like normal. And now, I'm going to close this out. I'm just going to copy this right here of the main contents. And as you can see, it's, you can add as many as you want. Oops. And there you go. That's pretty much how you. That's pretty much how you add a sidebar and the content. And there you go. So now we're starting to come up with a pretty cool looking design, even though it looks look kind of strange. But <laughs> again, this is just a quick template. You can design your own in the future. So I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.